The National Museum at York has one facet that is extraordinary. The actual locomotives are here. Meet Gladstone, built in 1882, withdrawn in December 1926 after running over 1.3 million miles. And here it is carrying the Royal Train headboard and decorations. In stark contrast, Eurostar Power Car 3308. So we had a look around. The Copper Knob, 1846. Agonoria, made in 1829 in Stour Bridge. The Forerunner, the Rocket, designed by Robert Stevenson in 1829 and built in Newcastle. Though not the first steam locomotive, it was the first to bring together many innovations that paved the way for commercial steam trains. The museum is excellent and one gets the feeling of going back in time. Even the cafe sits amid history and one can enjoy a coffee in a great setting. Then the iconic Mallard, built in Doncaster in 1938. It's historically significant as the holder of the world speed record for steam locomotives at 126 miles an hour, 203 kilometers an hour. It was designed by Nigel Gresley to power high-speed trains. It was called Mallard after a duck, as Gresley loved ducks. Clearly a great name, certainly more iconica a moniker than the rocket. A walk around these parts brings back memories for anyone over 60. I distinctly remember the first electric trains. Here, even a Chinese local. The evening star of iconic design epitomizing the era of steam. It was the last steam locomotive to be built by British Railways and strangely was the 999th locomotive of the whole British Railways standard range. The sight of these mammoths of mechanics certainly overwhelming. So time for a snack, this time in the open air. You may ask me why we get sunshine all the time, but actually it's always like this in York. Finally we ride the train into the city and meet some delightful people. Hey! Clearly from Yorkshire. Ride with us. Ghostbusters tour available. The historic walls, then over the river into the city, Then off home, another great day for the race, the human race that is.
inseparable.